Modules are the building blocks for your Joomla site, and they can help you display information or add functionality in different positions on different pages within the website. This tutorial will provide you an overview of the module manager in Joomla 3.2, and I'll offer some guidance on how to clean up unwanted modules that are in your site after you launch the demo trial. In later tutorials, I'll demonstrate how to create different types of modules. In this site already, we have this logo module that we uploaded in tutorial number three using templates. Again, we did that through the Protostar template. We also have this menu module. We want to keep both of these modules in our site as we develop. We do have some unneeded modules in our site, and I want to show you how to clean these up. We have this custom HTML module. We have a popular tags module, a latest articles module, a login form, and this is also a breadcrumbs module at the bottom of the page. All of these have important functionality, and they're there to illustrate what's possible in Joomla. I want to show you how to delete these, but you can always recreate this functionality because they are core Joomla features. By returning to the back end, we can open up our module manager through the left side menu here, or by going to extensions module manager. Once in the module manager, you'll notice that you have eight modules that are already published within your demo trial. Now, notice how each module is assigned to a position, and each module also is assigned to certain pages. Depending on which template you're using, you'll have different positions available. Now, we're using the Protostar module map, so I'm going to open up this document, which is available in the cloudaccess.net knowledge base. You'll see that there are different positions for the Protostar module map. Now, on our demo site, we already have some content in some of these positions. We have a logo in the logo position. We have a main menu in position one. And remember, we're going to keep these here. I want to show you how to first unpublish the unwanted modules and then delete some of those. Those modules include that flower image that's in position three and several modules in position seven. Now, we also have content or an article in this area on our homepage. Our content will stay in this one static position unless we start adding modules around it in position 8, position 3, or position 7. Otherwise, the content isn't affected through the module manager. Now, returning to the back end, first I want to show you what it's like to unpublish a module. By clicking on this green check mark, I can unpublish the login form. I'll get the green check mark indicating the module is unpublished, and I can return to the front end. If I scroll down, we can see our login form here off to the right side, but if I refresh the page, you'll see that the login form disappears. Now returning to the back end, let's go ahead and publish that module again. Now it's republished, we'll return to the front end and refresh the page again, and the module will reappear. To unpublish several modules at once, you can select all modules. Now remember, we want to leave our main menu, so I'm going to deselect this main menu option. And then I'll click on the Unpublish button in the toolbar. That will unpublish all of those modules at one time. Let's return to the front end of the site, refresh the page, and you'll see the only content we're left with is our logo module, our main menu module, and the body content, which is our article. Now, if you'd like to remove the unpublished modules from your module manager, go ahead and select all modules again. Deselect any published modules you'd like to keep, and then click on the Trash button in the toolbar. And we can see that we only have one module published, which is our main menu module. Now, I don't want to raise any red flags. Those modules are still on our site, and you can view your trashed modules, or you can permanently delete them, something I'll show you in a later tutorial. You can also recreate each of those modules by clicking on the new button here because those are all core Joomla features. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create a custom HTML module.